I, in the last four days, have been traveling to Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, and I just landed in Chandigarh today. So I wanted to thank Mr. Mukher uh, and the Punjab Angels Network for this invitation. It's an absolute pleasure to be here this evening. As uh, the gracious host mentioned earlier, uh, my name is Jonathan Shori. I'm a business immigration lawyer based out of Canada. And it's funny when we when we talk about Canada, I think right away minds travel to Toronto uh, or Surrey, British Columbia. But I'm not actually here to talk about Toronto or Surrey, British Columbia. I'm here to focus on a uh, province or as you would know, maybe a state called Alberta. So Alberta uh, is in Canada and primarily is an oil and gas dependent economy. In the last four days that I've spent in India, I've had a tremendous opportunity to get into rooms with some very, very interesting people, especially in the startup space. And I've learned very quickly that there is a huge hunger, a huge hunger matched by a very young population of talented individuals who often get exported over to in universities, colleges, uh, seeking some sort of Canadian dream, not realizing that the reality is, is that they can build something right here. So when I tell people I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer, uh, what I find is first people's eyes roll. They start thinking, okay, here comes the other guy. I think I saw maybe a hundred billboards promoting the dream of Canada on the way here. But the reality is, is that the province of Alberta should be on everyone's minds. And the reason it should be on everyone's minds, especially if we're trying to enter the North American market, is because Alberta is looking to promote some sort of reciprocal program with foreign talent and foreign nations. In Alberta, like I said, it's an oil and gas dependent economy, but that has changed quite dramatically over the last five years. Now, the entire economy is shifted to tech and startups, which seems to be kind of the trend that it would start in Toronto or in Vancouver, but the reality is, is that over the last two months, the government, both originally and federally, have dropped $100 million into just creating this ecosystem in this province alone. If you know anything about Canada, or if you've heard things about Canada, there are a number of incentives that are created um, in the province of Alberta that help facilitate the creation of, again, this kind of ecosystem. In Ontario, you have a saturated population. You have a, a space uh, that is ultimately just, I think, overflowing with, with startup environments, accelerators, incubators, what have you. The same goes for Vancouver. But in Alberta, the government has initiated a number of incentives, a number of grants, a number of different types of programs that help attract talent, but at the same time find a way to perhaps reciprocate that back to its home country. So why am I, why, why am I bringing all of this up? Our law firm, is, which has been operating for over 20 plus years, has gotten into this business. We've gotten into this space, and we've been lucky to get the endorsement of the Alberta government to come out to places like this and have these types of conversations. Now, in terms of the movement towards the tech ecosystem, I think it's important for everyone to know that companies like Infosys, HCL, and Emphasis have made significant moves over the last year to set up home bases in the province of Alberta, and they're doing it for a reason. The reality is, is that industries like FinTech, CleanTech, software and gaming, agriculture, aviation, and again, of course, oil and gas, we even have one of the largest reserves of oil and gas in the world. We just don't have the most efficient way of getting it out. I can talk about that later if you want to talk politics. But the reality is that there is a huge space for innovation. And it's not just about keeping people in Canada. It's about creating some sort of community that ultimately benefits everyone. This is a huge opportunity to collaborate and create reciprocal investment. And also employment opportunities between two different regions. Um, where I work, Calgary, Alberta, is a heavily, heavily South Asian population. If, again, if you know Surrey, you know Brampton, you're going to think the same thing if you came to my neighborhood. And the reality is that there's an incredible amount of talent that is looking for ways to take back their education to their home countries. And Canada welcomes that. Canada is a land of migration. Every single person is an immigrant. Every single person. My parents are immigrants. I was born there. But at the same time, we were raised in the same kind of traditional values. So the reality is, is that immigration is a thriving space. It helps our country move in the direction that it wants to. And there's an understanding that for immigration and for these types of uh, ecosystems to thrive, there needs to be a reciprocal opportunity. So again, my name is Jeff Troy. Again, thank you to the Pajab Angel Network for this opportunity. Uh, and Mr. Bunker, the chairman, I don't see you, but thank you again for this invitation. I hope everyone else is going to be Thank you.